Məmmədiyini qazanın indi zəhər eyvə biləcəyik. Biz qadınlar niyə bu gündə yaşayırıq? Bizə kim kömək eləyəcək? Qıl öldürməklər, baş kəsməklər, qol kəsməklər, uğurq eləməklər, nəyə görə tutublar? In June 2023, protests in Azerbaijan were violently crushed. Journalists capturing and publishing footage of these events were arrested, imprisoned, and even threatened with rape. A few months later, Abza's media journalists who had covered these demonstrations were arrested again. To this day, they are still detained. In the meantime, forbidden stories took over their investigations to tell the stories they could no longer pursue. This investigation has led us to some of the biggest names in tech and banking. We're talking about Microsoft, Tesla and other giants of, uh, of the tech or the industry. I'm not sure they are aware about what's going on in the mine where they are buying the gold through the raffinery. In northwestern Azerbaijan, amid the mountains of the Lesser Caucasus, the Gerebek gold mine stands as the country's first of its kind. It has been spilling cyanide and other chemical waste into an artificial storage lake, which was constructed 12 years ago. Today, the lake has already reached its maximum volume capacity. Our major concern is the risk of the failure of the dam. If it happens, it will not be a local environmental issue between this village and this gold mine. It will be a national disaster. It will be like half of the country will be polluted with this. This storage basin is located a few hundred meters away from a village, Suyutlu. The air quality in this village is unbearable. This kind of reservoir shouldn't be anywhere close to residential area. We directly inquired with the mine about its health and environmental impact, and it claimed to comply with regulations. Yet, it has not disclosed the raw results from the water tests and health evaluations it initiated. An activist collected water samples for his organization to run independent analysis, but he got arrested and his samples were confiscated. When the residents of Suyudlu gathered to protest against the construction of a new reservoir, the demonstration was brutally repressed. More than 10 people were detained. Suyudlu, 2023 years ago, Azerbaijan was the most dangerous and most dangerous human beings. Journalist Elmadin Shamilzadeh was there. He published a video of the faces of police officers during the protest and got arrested on the next day. One of the uh, police officers beat uh, to my face and uh, I just, I mean, um, hide my face and they uh, keep beating, kicking. I mean, another uh, police officer started unwear, I mean, his shirt and unwear his trousers and uh, told me that I'm gonna rape you if you will not uh, I mean, share your passport with us. The mine is operated by a British company that shares production benefits with the Azerbaijani government. It is primarily owned by Mohammad Reza Faziri, an Iranian magnate, and John Sununu, a former Republican governor known for slowing down US climate policy in the late 80s. This global warming crisis is just the latest surrogate for an overarching agenda of anti-growth and anti-development. The mine's largest client is a Swiss refinery, MKS. La Suisse est la principale plaque tournante du, du commerce international de l'or. Donc elle raffine près de 50% de l'or mondial. Il est aujourd'hui toujours possible euh, d'importer en Suisse de l'or qui a été produit en violation des droits humains euh, et de l'environnement. Donc le, le problème du devoir de diligence des raffineries, c'est qu'il repose encore beaucoup trop souvent sur la simple demande de documents auprès de leurs fournisseurs, donc des, des groupes miniers, mais pas de véritable contrôle euh, ou d'inspection. Et personne n'est obligé à le faire en fait. Because the standards of the industry to which they are affiliated are incapable to restrain the requirements of the OCDE. This refinery, the this refinery supplies major companies in need of electronic components like Apple, Tesla, HP or Microsoft. All the companies who, are, who of course all the time have very powerful declarations about human rights, about environmental issues. 
Any connection between the materials used in HP products and armed violence or human rights abuses is unacceptable. Microsoft and UBS addressed the consortium's inquiries by referring to their own corporate responsibility policies. Apple, HP, Asus, Tesla and Samsung have not responded to our requests.